This is Lagostromia farii muscogee. And this is a standard, you'll hear me say that on the crepe myrtles especially, you can get these in a multi-trunk or a standard. And a standard is simply a single trunk like you see here. So crepe myrtles are great. Um, they, they bloom in the summer. They, they're kind of the quintessential summer blooming plant. They're grown all over the uh, south, the Midwest. I've seen these in Florida. I've seen them in Texas. And here we are in California. So uh, they're a really versatile flowering tree, kind of medium size. That's the other thing that why they're used a lot is their size is very manageable. I see this plant kept as low as um, 10 feet tall and 8 feet wide and that's very achievable with these if at each winter you prune, prune them back. Um, the tree you're looking at here is probably about a 10 year old tree. It is I'd say 15 feet wide by uh, about 20 feet tall, 18 to 20 feet tall. And um, nobody's had to work on it too hard to keep it at that size. Uh, what I like about them is obviously the summer color. Um, they typically, if you get a normal summer, they like the heat. And if they don't get the heat like this year, this is September 1st and this plant is just starting to bloom probably in the last two to three weeks and it hasn't hit its stride yet. Um, in other years this would be blooming in July if we had a normal summer where it was warmer. So if you get the heat these will push in response to that but if you don't um, they're not going to bloom as well for you. Um, the Farii family, when you hear Lagostromia Farii, those are a variety that were developed that are mildew resistant. Um, Lagostromia southern indicas um, in at least in western California. We're in a hot inland valley and yet um, they don't do very well. The indicas, we get mildew. Almost all of the ones I see that are southern indicas get mildew. So I haven't used one of those in 20 years since these came out. And these are reliably mildew free. They're also very vigorous growers. Um, this is, I have this one in my front yard as a multi-trunk and uh, it's the, one of the easier trees I've ever uh, ever dealt with. It just grows uh, effortlessly. Um, the light pink flower is a really nice color. There's, uh, there's different colors. There's white, kind of a raspberry color, Catawba, and um, then there's Tuscarora, which is kind of a watermelon pink. So um, those are the main colors for this uh, Farii family. Um, the other thing is, is the fall color, which you see a picture of it at the beginning of this video. Muscogee has the best fall color of the different Farii hybrids. And I know because I have this one in my front yard, and boy, is it a show every year like clockwork. It get this bright orange and yellow fla um, leaf color. And um, just it's a, just an added bonus and one more reason why I tend to use this variety more than the other Farii varieties because it reliably produces a color uh, in fall. And a lot of people in the West, we, we don't have big seasonal changes, but this one is one that will color up even with the uh, mild winters that we get here. Um, spacing, if you're going to do a grouping like they did here, uh, they've planted these about 15 feet apart and I think that's a pretty good spacing for that tree um, if you're going to do a grouping 15 to 20 feet apart just depends if you want the heads to join in the middle. Um, these look best with some moisture. I've got one in my backyard that doesn't get as good a moisture and it doesn't do near as well as the one that's near the lawn and gets some extra moisture off of the lawn so I'd say that if you want these to perform their best, give them regular garden water as opposed to uh, treating them like they're drought resistant. They certainly do well when they get some moisture. When I look at the ones down in Florida and things like that, they were huge and very happy, but they get uh, summer rain. And I think that's about it on the crepe myrtles. Um, beautiful flowering tree, great size, very manageable for a lot of different uses. Um, by the way, this is a deciduous tree. That said, um, I can't really tell you how well it performs near the coast. Generally speaking, 
like in places like Monterey and Santa Barbara. I've never seen this in Santa Barbara or Monterey, so I suspect this doesn't do very well with the fog and so forth. And as a matter of fact, you think about what I told you earlier, these bloom in response to heat and they really don't get enough heat for these to be their best. So I'm thinking that uh, coastal, this is not a tree to be using, but they certainly have other choices coastal that we don't have inland because of our frost. And that is crepe myrtle, Muscogee. That is a great little tree.